it's Brent with ProPride Industries here today and we're going to go over the maintenance kit and the components and how you actually use all the stuff with the kit. So let's get right into it. We've got the uh, mini grease gun which is going to be great because you guys can just like literally take this guy apart. It fits in uh, any small bag and it'll keep it nice and clean. It comes with a single set of cre grease right there for you. So you've got that going for you too from the get-go. We've got three-in-one oil. We're gonna use this on our jack. We've got a multi-purpose lubricant that's gonna allow you to um, use for the hitch itself and uh, the, I'm sorry, the hitch bar itself and the hitch into the main opening here. Also, any of the movable parts on this, we're gonna show you how to do all that stuff and what movable parts it works best on. And uh, last but not least, um, a nice phantom black can of touch-up paint too for any like little nicks and things you may have along the way. Um, I'll show you a little quick demonstration on how to do that too uh, on a hitch bar itself. So uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, so we're gonna start with the multi-purpose lubricant right here. You can use this on all kinds of different things. I'm gonna show you some of the specific spots that we like you to use it on, um, but it does a great job. So number one, you can actually use it on the opening here. So it's gonna be like a clear spray on there. So it actually does a great job with that. It doesn't leave a mess, so you don't have to worry about this thing uh, like gumming up your trunk and stuff. And you can do some actually on your stinger itself too, on either side there. When you put it in, it's gonna have a nice lubricant for you, so that slips in a little bit easier. The other things we like to use this on are the over center latches here. So you can do it on the spots here, all along there. Just get it worked in on the arms. Adds a protectant and it actually helps with these things moving too, right? So spray that, the over center latch screws. Just be careful to well, just know where it's set at there, but you know that tightening these or loosening these is gonna affect how it goes into this. So keep that in mind. Just give it a nice spray on those. Leave that in there, all in this area. You can even do these, uh, uh, the spindles here. You can get those guys right in there too. Work that in from the outside in. The yoke bolts right here. This doesn't have much movement, but it has some. Again, you can get the spray right on there. And uh, really, other than that, um, that's probably about the main areas to do that in. The rest of it actually is gonna be uh, your grease gun, which I'll show you here in just a second. But this is a, a fantastic way of keeping this thing dressed nicely and uh and functional for a long time for you without having to worry about rust and things like that so that's the multi-purpose spray that comes with our kit there let's get into the next one all right so next is going to be the mini grease gun that we uh, have in the same kit right so you're going to load your grease in here and you're going to go right to there to the zerk which uh, you may be able to pan around and see it or you may be able to see it right there where you're at a little grease zerk on there this guy's just going to pop in there literally and little thud in there then you're just going to pump this guy probably three or four pumps actually to get the grease in here to where it starts to gob out at the bottom and that's as good as you get right there all right next is going to be this three-in-one oil the reason we include this is actually for that little tiny you probably didn't even notice it's stamped right here with oil on your uh, vertical jacks just take some of this guy put it right in that hole just give it a nice little healthy dose of it what it does basically is there's a line that goes right around here and that's what these three beads are welded in there. It keeps this thing nice and smooth rolling up and down this. So when you raise and lower it, it's a nice smooth transition in here. There is grease up here. Probably not something you're gonna have to necessarily do anything with, but if you did need to, you can pop this cap off, just little two little flanges on your inside and use some of the grease, the same grease that you just did with the, uh, your grease cirques in the main into this guy right here. And you're good to go with that. So it's a nice little helpful piece too. All right, and finally, we've got the touch-up paint that comes in the kit as well. So just basically do you know, a quick rough up, get all the nice, uh, any rust or anything you've got on there, surface rust off of that. This thing nice and cleaned up to where it's uh, smooth again. Take this guy. Just do a few different coats on this. Probably gonna wait about five, 10 minutes between each coat. It's fast drying, so it does a really good job with that and then just recoat and apply as you need. You can do little touch-ups along the uh, uh, main as well, no problem. And uh, it's a great little uh, can of touch-up paint right there for you. So that's all four things that are in the kit, and um, we will catch you next time with some more helpful videos. Thanks.